ティダーリラティダー。ディラリタティダーダーリラティダー。It's the infrastructure review. Hello and welcome to the RC3 Infrastructure Review. My name is Youssef and I'm your host for today. This year, this show is pre recorded. I can watch it with you guys right now. And we are doing this because we want to give every team its place and time it deserves, not like last year, where this was a little bit hectic and stressful. So we are starting now with the core infrastructure of the RC3. Let's go. Also, part of the core infrastructure are the hub and the world. Those are the people who are managing all the pixels. Maybe you need someone. Maybe they're putting the used pixel on eBay. Let's see. So, hello everyone. I'm Margo, this is Avara, and we have Linda with us, and we are telling you how we did the infrastructure for the RCSV. At first, what did we do? We did provide a CDN. Um, delivering you with files for the world, the hub, and the streaming website. We did provide the DNS for the world event. We did run the Jitsi instance and uh, obviously the monitoring for all that infrastructure. So, of course, to do that, we had some data centers around 9 terabit of uh, OM, uh, around 2000 CPU cores. One net server, rest in peace, CDN 07, and a little bit above 300 gigabit bandwidth. Of course, somebody ha um, had to build that infrastructure up. So we had some data center angels and, of course, data center unicorns. Yeah, a, a little bit insights how all that was distributed. So we had some, um, some locations in Frankfurt. Düsseldorf, Munich, and of course, Hetzner. Yes. But to come to the really interesting part, the numbers, we had, of course, alerts. Around 280 monitoring hours of angels sitting in front of our alerting system. Um, around 5,000 notifications generated by the alert manager. Um, yeah, to come to our locations, um, if you were to visit all of our data centers, you would travel um, around about 2,800 kilometers, which is one thirteenth the length of the equator. Or you could swim from Dhaka, which is the westernmost point in Africa, to Natal, which is the easternmost point of Brazil, South Africa, uh, South America. <laughs> um, yeah, DNS. We had round about 58.2% of real IP and 41.8% of legacy IP users. Please um, keep it uh, that the ratio keeps rising in, in the following years. And we answered and uh, sent around uh, 49 million DNS answers. Um, yeah, considering our network, um, we had some scenic routing implemented this year. Um, one time we tried to connect to one of our Prometheus um, servers and we ended up at CERN. Um, then on day one, we, um, yeah, our amazing streaming background uh, was bro broadcasted around about 350,000 times, which makes up around about uh, 1.7 terabytes, but we fixed that issue um, on the uh, midday, uh, yeah, of day one. Um, sadly, only 2.6 um, gigabits per second was our peak of uh, the CDN bandwidth, so we would highly appreciate if DDoS24.net could please deliver what they promise next year. Um, and now to come to our most interesting statistic, um, if you were to um, put 3.5 solid uh, floppy disks on 3,891 euro pallets and fill them um, in 40 ton um, trucks, you would um, make a traffic jam of around 7.5 kilometers with all of the um, yeah, outgoing traffic we had. Or if you would lay these uh, floppy disks side by side, you could cover around 2,500 football fields or 1% uh, of the Saarland. <laughs> yes. 
Um, our Jitsi, we had um, approximately 112 conferences uh, maximum with a maximum uh, user count of 517. Our largest conference was around uh, 65 users. And if you would add uh, up uh, the total stream hours of Jitsi um, we received this year, it would uh, come to 1.1 years. Yeah. Um, so this is one of our most important slides. Thanks to our um, over 50 amazing InfraWatch angels and our InfraWatch angels for making this event possible. And uh, last but certainly not least, um, thanks to our sponsors. Um, this event wouldn't have been possible without you. So thank you very, very much. Bye. Bye. I'm Helge. I'm presenting for the RC3 Hub team. Um, we are the team which is uh, yeah, doing the integration component, which is uh, basically operating the whole RC3 in the background. Um, and I will present for the work adventure team as well. Um, but let's dive into the hub as well. We are a hub formed last year uh, of about 20 to 30 people. Uh, focusing on different parts of the ecosystem. Uh, we have different uh, front ends. Um, first of all, the main website, RC3 World. We have the back office uh, for managing stuff, uh, especially for the assemblies. We have an API node, which is, for example, used by the um, mobile apps. And uh, yeah, we are integrating stuff, of course. Um, we have the schedules, which we are integrating, like, uh, yeah, the yeah, schedules from the different uh, channels. Um, we have the 2D world, which is integrated. Uh, first of all, the map service, which is uh, pulling in your maps, which you have configured, uh, linting them for errors and uh, unwanted stuff, um, which is then, uh, that data is then fed uh, back to you for, uh, in the first place and uh, into the back end, um, where it is uh, served and uh, yeah, we are also integrating um, your profile settings. So uh, when you're changing stuff in the work adventure that is uh, reflected in your profile and vice versa. And if you are visiting uh, Big Blue Button Rooms via the website, that's us uh, creating the session for you on the cluster. Um, for numbers, uh, about 230 assemblies, 650 events and 65 uh, Big Blue Button conference rooms. Um, we have about 200 uh, map repositories in the database and, uh, well, which in total host about 1,600 uh, individual map files. The numbers are um, constantly changing, um, so that's just rough estimates. But uh, yeah, we have also um, numbers on the theme you selected, because uh, as you maybe know, we have four different themes available for you. The default one is the colorful one, but uh, more or less static. We have a district fee version where nothing is colorful and not changing uh, at all. Um, and we have a full-fledged heart and computer warming uh, design, which you definitely should check out by pressing the light uh, bulb or the play button um, in the web page. Um, yeah, try it out. Uh, you also tried out the uh, new feature from last year, the batches. Um, you created a total of 480 uh, batches and issued them a whopping 44,000 times. Um, these numbers are a bit uh, outdated already, uh, several minutes old, sorry for that. Um, and yeah, uh, lastly, uh, we have the work adventure backend, which is a new software written this year. Uh, called X Neuland, uh, written in Elixir. And uh, yeah, it's a new software. We had some errors in the beginning, um, but uh, right now it proves to be successful because we have a lot of uh, yeah concurrent visitors. Uh, this is not even the peak value, that is uh, last night. Um, but we have a uh, peak of about 1,200 users, which is quite remarkable because last year we weren't able to handle that much uh, on basically one backend uh, instance. Um, for map popularity, um, of course, the lobby is the most popular one um, on the top. Um, the second one is the lounge and all the other maps are, uh, yeah, uh, more or less uh, shared uh, among them. 
for information on the software, um, the Twitter account is on the top right. Um, thanks for having me. Next one. If the core infrastructure stands, the next layer is communication. Even phone, please tell us more. Hello, this is the information relay for the POC, better known as Event Phone. So, what was available? They had zipped to all users. They also were decked to other users in covered areas. There were 21 decked antennas operated in different locations. The most remote antenna was in Sweden. Other antenna were across Germany. There was an experimental GSM 3G network, even as most other 3G networks were closed down this weekend. SS3 in numbers. 1,250 registered ZIP extensions. The peak was 701 online. 166 registered DECT extensions. Peak was 64 online. 7 registered GSM extensions. There have been 20,740 calls in total. 1,390 via DECT, 19,300 via ZIP, and 50 via GSM. Interesting facts. POC sold three famous items via 3C Teleshop, thanks to those buyers, and peak of parallel calls during the 3C Teleshop sale of MCSC's blockchain. Of course, if you don't have a landline or whatever wives are going in and out of this thing, you can still write letters. Hi everyone, I'm Lars and I'm reporting the latest data from the Chaos Post online office. This year we delivered over 300 postcards to over 24 different TLDs, the most stayed within .de. You had the choice between 21 different postcard designs and you certainly did like the latest C3 designs the most. However, the single most picked design is our Chaos Post logo and I think that is also a very good choice. If you did choose an offline commercial provider instead of us, you would have required about 100 euro in national and 125 euro in international postage. In terms of printed paper, well, it's 1.4 kilograms of postcards. As you may know, we usually prefer to deliver in person via our volunteering postal carriers. For our farthest traveling postcard, one of them would have had to walk circa 9,000 kilometers by air, the receiving mail server being located in Taiwan. Depending on the winds of the clouds, the total distance would have been somewhere between 300,000 and 1 million kilometers. Rest assured that, as always, we delivered at the speed of chaos. Next hold? No idea. Why isn't there an app for that? Hi, I'm Toby. I do the Event Farplan app, the conference app for this very event. And I also collected some numbers for you. So um, I published the app uh, on the 20th of December. It came online on Google Play on the uh, day after. And on F-Droid, it uh, appeared on the 26th. Uh, so ready for you. And um, there was, uh, judging from today, from uh, numbers are from Google Play, um, 1,413 installs. Most people uh, uh, come from Germany, Switzerland, and the US. But there's also people from uh, Estonia, Canada, Czech, um, uh, Finland, Israel, Slovenia. So hi, everyone. And people use phones mostly. There's 45 people using tablets. There's a one Chromebook uh, would be interested to see how that works and uh, 18 unreported device types, whatever that means. Um, I changed a lot of uh, code uh, over the year, uh, actually 349 files, uh, which means uh, over 11,000 lines were new and over 6,000 lines were deleted. Um, luckily, this didn't report, uh, result in uh, many crashes. Uh, actually, there was one uh, problem with a Fairphone, I suppose, and uh, one was a Pixel 6 when you touch the feedback button. Uh, that's already resolved. And then was, there was one issue on Android 7.0, uh, which Radek reported, and, uh, but that was already resolved uh, by the help of Katie and Andreas. Big shout out to you. Thank you. Um, 
overall, I didn't receive any uh, crash reports uh, via email this year, which is uh, really good. Um, because on the last Congress, 3633, I got like 70 emails per day. Um, so I guess uh, the code changes are quite good. And um, um, also you uh, voted on uh, Google Play, um, 24 ratings uh, were received and uh, five reviews were written. Thank you for that. The overall rating is uh, 4.875. And last but not least, there's um, favorites and alarms. People made a lot of them, uh, but I can't tell. As you know, I don't have any tracking. And uh, even on f -Droid, I don't see anything what's going on. Oh, oh yes, there's uh, donations. Um, I received one donation, uh, one new donation, and one recurring. Thank you very much. And of course, there's uh, five continuous uh, donations. Thank you for supporting the project. That's from my side. I hope you have a nice evening. Bye bye. The team that manages everything around content and streams is Zal. Streams are the reality. Good night time. I'm JWS AC Alex. My pronouns are it, it's, or in German, as dessen. Good evening. I'm Dex and I use they, them. Together we did the Router Saal team this year and we did stuff. Stuff in this case means coordinating everything related to the talks. We shift information between the content producing channels and teams like Heaven, Signal, Rock, Heralds, and many other others in every possible direction. In plain text, we held meetings, lots of them. In two months, we called 12 meetings on average with 23 people. In total, just the coordination was worth two and a half, 20 and a half days of meetings. In addition to this number of press mentions, a lot of discussion and problem so solving had in smaller circles too. Sometimes spontaneously, new problems arose. And what would we did? Of course, just another meeting. And then we present the solutions, compromises, or whatever seems to be most efficient. Of course, meetings weren't the only thing we spent our time on. We also worked closely with the Heaven team and created a total of 3,800 hours worth of shifts in the Angel system, which roughly equals 22 weeks of 24-7 work for a more, or for a more practical comparison. About 1,368,000 Microsoft Teams loading times. During the event itself, although we had surprisingly little to do, because the content production was running pretty smoothly and Pretty independently, we spent most of our time still trying to pay to attention to several mumbles, jitsis, rocket chats, and phone calls all at once simultaneously, which is also known as the same procedure as every year, so I'm sure many of you are aware. Now that's it for Raute Saal. We'd like to keep this short and sweet, just like our meetings. On that note, are there any questions? Since that doesn't seem to be the case, thanks for listening and back to the moderator. Up next, the C3 VOC, the Video Operations Center. What would we do without them? Good night, everyone. I'm J W A C Alex from It's It's or German English. As that's in, I'm from with Lucas from the C3 VOC, and we showed you some interesting numbers. As you can see in the picture, how the people are switching between the streams and traveling, we had about 245 talks on 30 stages over four days, which equals nearly nine days of video material. Additionally, we had about five days of launch streams and how it's done. I'm handing over to Lucas. Hi. Uh, so this year we switched over to uh, SRT streaming, which uh, is a bit more modern than our traditional RTMP streaming. Uh, we had a few issues with it, but mostly it was stable. Um, also, because we had uh, some issues last year with some servers going down, we decentralized our ingest, transcoding, and fanout pipeline. Um, we also got some support by the RC3 Infra team, uh, which uh, provides our streaming front end via their CDN and also serves our DNS zones. So that's a lot more stable uh, than last year as well. Our own CDN is scaled up to 300 gigabits per second edge capacity, um, which we only used around 15 gigabits per second uh, with 
around 6k viewers at the same time so maybe you watch more streams um, in total that's around 200 terabytes of traffic we send uh, alone for streaming not counting media.ccd um, the decentralized setup needed some re-implementation of features we removed four years ago and also a lot of new features and we are actually still deploying uh, the last few pieces of our pipeline so yeah that's uh, basically it so thanks to everybody who supports us either with expertise virtualized resources or even rec space thanks and bye I'm sure you're having a lot of questions, or you had a lot. And when you're putting those in the tiny little chat and then coming over the etherwebs to us, the Signal team took care of you. This is Trilator reporting for the Signal Angels. This RC3 went really well for us. We had some technical issues on day zero with a crossed hammer emoji in a talk titled Breaking Our Pet Server. We need a workaround for that. And also our pet update workflow broke because the pet deletion API we were using got removed in an update we installed. On day one, we had a last minute scare where at 10 a.m. we noticed that IPv6 connectivity got broken and we had to move the server to a different part of the network. It was mostly smooth sailing from day two, except some move talks we didn't quite catch in time. For the numbers, we had 187 shifts this year. This is 30 more than last year. Sadly, we weren't able to fill two of them. Uh, those shifts were filled by 30 angels. Um, and in total, we worked 267 far plan hours. So this is more than the 228 we had last year. We have a shift over subscription ratio of 5%, meaning 5% more time was filled than we actually needed to. This is because we had some signal angel training and also some Q&A heavy talks where we deployed multiple signal angels. I hope to see you in a talk soon and uh, goodbye. If you're focusing on what I talk, it's not about what's coming up next, but this here, this team. Hi, this is TD for the Subtitles Infrastructure Review. So what do we do? We take recorded talks, we run those talks through speech recognition software and get a raw transcript out of there that may or may not contain mistakes made by the software. So we have angels who clean these transcripts up and we run those clean transcripts through the auto timing process to get something that's aligned to the video. And then we again have angels who check that everything is correct before releasing a subtitle strike. This year we had 27 distinct angels who worked um, seven shifts for the median angel. 97, uh, 92 percent of our angels returned for a second shift. We had 20 percent of our angels working nine or more shifts, and so far we've had five releases for this year's RC3 and 15 releases for previous events. But to keep track of the state of all these talks, we use a virtual state-of-the-art high-performance log-free NoSQL columnar data store depicted in this image. So at this point, we would like to thank all of our hardworking angels for their work. And if you want to work on transcripts between congresses, then you can do that year round by just going to C3 subtitles DE. What many people don't know is that this thing here in mehrere Sprachen gleichzeitig übersetzt wird. Ich würde dir n'importe quoi et tout mon prénom comprendre. Pas mal, hein? Hi. At C3 Lingo, one team member said that it was less interesting than last year because a lot of things actually worked. Well, it's true that there were fewer technical hiccups, but I do worry about the strain on us and on the wonderful angels in the teams around us who made this amazing feat possible. Our stats reflect this. We had a team of 23 interpreters, which is only a quarter of the size we had in Leipzig two years ago. We identified 151 talks that we could potentially interpret. And for the first time in several years, we were not able to assign interpreters to each and every one of them. We did assign interpreters to 139 talks, giving us 92% coverage and almost five full days of interpreter time. This was only possible through the crazy enthusiasm of our team members who in the extreme did 10 talks on a single day 
and more than nine hours of interpreted time in a day. As we look back, we thank the speakers who provided us with materials much more often than in previous years and put a lot of care into making them. And we thank the channels who reminded speakers to submit materials to us. We hugely enjoyed being at RC3, meeting the team, meeting the wonderful people around us, doing the work and being behind the scenes generally. And we need to remind the people that couldn't make it this time that it's still worth investing the time, doing the work and being at this amazing RC3. We need more angels all around. Thank you. Besides all the great teams you saw, we also have different channels. Um, one famous one was Xhein. It's like Berghain, but without... Hallo, schön, dass ihr dabei gewesen seid. Für euch haben wir ab dem 4.12. aufgebaut. Zehn Menschen haben insgesamt 40.300 Minuten Zeit investiert. Über 50 Stunden gingen allein in die Automatisierung von Abläufen. Wir haben 1132 mm an leeren Pizzakartons produziert, 1,5 kg feinsten Wokwaffelteig, 60 Donuts, 600 Gramm Schokolade, zwei Kiwis und einen Apfel vernichtet. So gestärkt haben wir 17 Talks in zwei Locations produziert und dazu erstmal unseren Keller als weitere Aufnahmelocation erschlossen. Insgesamt haben wir über 450 Meter Kabel verlegt, Intercom und In-Ear-Monitoring selbst gebaut. Vier Kameras haben viele 100 GB an Video aufgezeichnet. Zehn Rechner standen an sechs verschiedenen Arbeitsplätzen für Aufzeichnung und Live-Betrieb, Ingest, Sendeabwicklung, Licht- und Postproduktion bereit. Zwei Mischpulte haben für den guten Ton gesorgt. Um trotz weltweiter Lieferschwierigkeiten alles rechtzeitig zu besorgen, haben wir Material bei einer zweistelligen Anzahl Händlern bestellt. Wir sehen uns in 2022, hoffentlich wieder in Leipzig. Das Schlimmste sind die Aufträge von den depperten Berliner. Ich verkaufe denn jeden Müll. Welcome to the Hexenstadts. For the very first time, we got our own streaming. And that was only possible because of the help of some amazing people in the background that got us from zero to streaming hero. We prepared some stats for you. We hosted 14 talks that were streamed. Our biggest viewer crowd was 2160. And we kind of stress tested Big Blue Button in one Q&A with 200 participants. In total, we had 12 workshops with 148 attendees in one workshop. And you might find us on the world map and maybe you just quickly will go back to our world map now. And we prepared some stats to you. 29,225,984 pixels over 44 single maps and 323 commits were contributed. Well, and Did you know how many pixels per commit we committed? We call it PPC. It's 90,482. That's it from the Hexen screen. Fun fact on the side, we consumed, I would say, over 10 kilos of rice during our alcoholic meetings. And maybe it's our fault that some countries has, have a fry shortage now. Moin, die Hamburger waren auch da. At KS Studio Hamburg, we had 42 talks with over 2,000 minutes of broadcast time. Often, we had more than 1,500 viewers in the stream. We also had over 30 extended Q&As with 50 people joining or more. We had most of the heralds and speakers remotely attached to the studio, but we had four talks that we could actually produce here in the studio. Our team of 15 people worked over 500 hours to set up the studio and prepare the production and over 200 hours producing the talks and performances during these four days. Heaven only reprimanded us once for working too much. And that's just the crew in Hamburg. 
Digital Courage had a whole team of their own in Bielefeld. Thank you very much for the great contribution to our program. With any luck, uh, we'll have all the recorded talks published by tomorrow. And finally, nothing gets the adrenaline flowing like having to have everything work just right for the target show. Thank you, and hopefully we'll see each other here in Hamburg at Easter. And let's not forget the great guys from the Chaos West uh, stage. Normally they do the build-up, but this time they streamed also the, the 40 Years Gala. Have you seen it? You should. But it's not from 40 years, it's from now. But history. Watch it. Hey, we are Chaos West TV and we have prepared a bit of a numbering for you. Our signal travels the 2174 kilometers from the studio to your browser in roughly 30 seconds. That's 0.025% of the speed of light. I think we can improve a bit here. For a revolutionary video compression, we shrunk the 80 cubic meters of 36C3 hardware to an eco-friendly 0.25 cubic meters in data centers and at home. We are rather happy with our compression ratio of 1 to 320. Coincidence? We don't think so. During the event, our 62 physical CPU cores converted the equivalent of 256 waffles into heat. Although the hottest measured CPU temperature was 98 degrees Celsius, we sadly did not generate tasty waffles. Still, the nine people running this channel did not stay hungry. But how did we get to that? Uh, sure, I can explain that to you. We start with a few OBS instances to mix the talks and then record and stream them to the C3 walk. Easy. All right, we care about reliability. So we just threw some monitoring and people on it and they will take care of the servers. What? You want to stream to YouTube as well? Twitch? Your own CDN? Okay, I guess we can do that. Break music, fancy visuals, info beamer with scheduling. It's not like we don't have anything else to do. Multiple languages, sure. Let's just build a damn visual audio mixer in the data center. Oh, come on, questions from the internet? Yeah, just put them in a corner over somewhere there. Uh, what, we need to explain all this madness in an infrastructure view? Yeah, just draw a simple diagram or something. And that's how we run Chaos Let's TV in 42 simple steps. Hey, look, our backup recording survived. And the last channel is about future. I sincerely have no clue about what they do or what they did or what they're going to do, but I can point somewhere over here and maybe the editors can put some nice information in this box. Now for the about future stage infra review. We had 32 waving cats in the beginning, uh, but we gave four away. Uh, in total, all the cats we had waved 3.9 million times or 3.9 mega waves. The highest tower we ever built out of cats was six cats tall. Now let's take a look at our main stage. We had three main cameras on the main stage, uh, but for some talks we used up to six. We had Nix running OBS on our main streaming computer in the rack you can see there. We had two headset mics for the speaker audio, two laptops in the mumble for inputting the translation audio and separate outputs for speaker, music and translation. For the lighting, we had a laptop running Onyx, controlling about 2.1 kilowatts of lighting, which is not enough. This was all hung up on trussing about 23 sharks long. Now to our B stage, uh, we had to go outside for a bit, which was really unfortunate because on some days it rained. Over the four days, we made over 100 gingerbread cookies, nine waffles and way too many crap. Over on the B stage, we had a small computer sending RTMP streams of the two cameras back to the main stage. The cameras were placed there for high fidelity oven coverage. Now we go back to the main stage. Over there, we also had a projector for various uses. 
some other random facts and infos. We had 60 megabytes per second of pixel food traffic, six megabytes of stream traffic, four full dishwashers. We consumed about 12 grams of caffeine, a little plant called Pflanzi. Our trust inspector shark hike, way too many cables, and we cooked every day. See you. And, <laughs> <laughs> and now go wild for the C3 News Show. We are doing everything here. This is one part of our studios, of our editors, and whatever. Let's just call it love for you guys. This is the C3 News Show. We proudly present to you our numbers. In course of this Congress, we produced 14 main shows and six episodes of Verkehrsfunk, but we didn't count the pew, 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 pew by Poope. We still have no idea of our audience share, aka Einschaltquote. Also, we don't know our relevant target audience, but I think you all are now here. In total, this accounts for 140 minutes of content spread over the whole Congress, plus 60 minutes for this infrastructure review, which you all are watching now. We announced 48 talks and to make this as stress-free as possible our amazing editors pre-produced some assets two moving and one static backdrop three blimps two stingers four intros two outros seven carrots and one recording guide we have also collected a lot of data 217 gigabyte of raw video data on at least five systems, 98 gigabyte of rendered master files, 21 gigabyte of backups, that is over a third of a terabyte, by the way, transported also through whole Germany and beyond. And you can imagine how this worked out with this internet sucking in Germany. And over 20 cores in total were busy converting video data. In the production of our shows, we have used 483 video transitions, 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 hundreds of glitches, 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 and four different electric buzzing sounds. We lost at least two reporters in the 2D world and hope we'll get, we will get them back once the world is teared down. Team members had over six hours of internet downtime, about three to six nervous breakdowns were ba barely avoided. One of the editors ate a whole bag of gebrannte Mandeln within only 15 minutes. Wow, that's a new record. We also apparently poached the head of Heralding, who brought us an uncountable number of mystery head changes. And of course, no carrots and potatoes were harmed in the production of the C3 news show. Khaleesi wore eight outfits and seven different hairstyles. I don't know how she does that. Um, thank you, Tunefish, for delivering this number. This was the C3 News Show. See you next year. <laughs> This was the C3 News Show for this year. Hey guys, you know heaven? They know us. They know everything about us. It's been a hard year for everyone, for sure. If someone can help, it's heaven. Um, hey there, um, greetings from heaven. We would like to share some numbers and insights from our heaven cloud with you. As always, we have many shifts and even more uh, helping angels at this event. We hope you found your way to heaven and collect your angel badge. If you didn't, please do so. 
For this year, the current number of registered angels based on day three is around 740. But with some channels managing part of their angels by themselves, the number of helping entities is much higher than that. Looking on the working hours the angel system tracks, we have an estimate of around 28 weeks of registered work time in more than 900 shifts and workload entries. Also, there are people working outside the scope we can track inside our system. So at this point, the official number is much higher than that. And the teardown efforts aren't even reflected in these numbers. And we've also discovered quite to our satisfaction that the remote work considerable decreased calls to our heaven number regarding the problems of broken mate bottles. This, this year we didn't have to deploy standby angels or our shitty shifts to take care of that and we are looking forward to see this positive development to apply on our next events. When seeing these numbers it is still awesome and unique that our event keeps running with the help of so many voluntary entities helping despite the second year of mostly remote help of our angels. With that being said, there's only one thing left to do. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Without you, this event could not be done the way it is. The Heaven team and myself wish you all the best for the upcoming year 2022. Stay safe, stay healthy, and mostly stay optimistic. We hope to meet you all again in person on upcoming events. Until then, have an awesome time. See you around and maybe see you around at the tier down as well. Goodbye. Okay, guys, this was it. This was the infrastructure review for 2021. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching it. Uh, please share it if you like it. Um, if you didn't like it, share it with your enemies or people you don't like. And either one will help us spread it around, spread love, whatever. But just watch it again next year or visit us next year. Sincerely, we try to make the best possible in this situation. Thank you.